We were there during the moonshine days. After the moonshine days, we were there. We couldn't uh, ride with the with the white boys, you know. When you look at today and, and, and racing as such, we have a legacy. This hasn't been publicized. Willie T, I mean, he would just turn the tracks up. It seemed like nobody could beat Willie T. I figured that if I got myself an engineering degree, I could probably get myself an occupation that paid enough to buy a race car. Like they say, the rest is history. I was always wanting to get a car. Folks weren't hearing it. I went out there, I started fourth, and I just went out there and did the first lap. I was like, whoa, you know. To be there experiencing these cars going by me at 160 miles an hour, and the sounds and the sights and, and, and the smell of the competition of the racing was intoxicating. It's very important for, for people to understand that, you know, this isn't just a walk in the park. There's constant issues and everybody has them. Um, sometimes the race is part of it. This has been going on for, as we know, for many years. We finished in the top 10 four years in a row. That was unheard of for independent. We will never be a mainstream sport until there's a feeling and a belief that we're open to all.